Welcome to the Salt Cam University channel. This video's topic is floor fillet option in 2D eye machining. So in the newer versions of Salt Cam, your 2D eye machining has a bunch of new features, and one of them is the ability to add a floor fillet. So this is kind of a way to give you almost like a little bit of a three-dimensional option for your regular 2D, 2.5D tool path. So let's take a look at how that actually works. So I actually have a tool path here using some of our new functions. The chain, as you see there, and the, pro and the preview, is for this pocket that has just a little slight little kind of a floor fillet there. Now in the past, you would have had to probably do this in, in two different eye machinings, one for the top of the fillet, one for the bottom of the fillet, or you would just use a tool that has that corner rad and then just let that, that shape of the tool make that. But this is using a flat end mill. So it has a sharp edge. It's not actually going to create that corner fillet. So what this feature allows you to do is in your geometry section, you go to floor fillet, you can actually type in whatever that, that fillet radius is, and then give it its own scallop. So this is kind of like a little bit of a three-dimensional, this is the kind of stuff you see in the 3D eye machining toolpath, but it's applied only to that corner. Now this is not recognizing that corner. What this is doing is just generating the regular toolpath and then adding in the passes, assuming that the bottom corner of your pocket has that fillet. So it's not really recognizing anything. And you can see that it also still recognizes the open face. So it only adds it to whatever it recognizes as the bottom corner. Did the same thing for this one here. I actually gave it this full radius here. And if we look at the toolpath again, it adds a little bit of the scallop there. Now, let's say you have a feature like this that doesn't even have that corner. Adding this in here simply just to illustrate that it doesn't require the corner there to recognize it. All it is is just you're adding in that, that additional functionality. So let's just do a copy on this. And I'm going to reselect geometry. In this case, we'll just grab this one, use my smart face on the bottom face there. So we have an open edge and we have three walls. The floor fillet, again, this is just the same copy from the previous one. So we're going to use that half inch. We'll do a save and calculate. And even though that's a sharp corner, this is one of those things where maybe the designer put in that sharp corner, but as the programmer, as the machinist, as the operator, I probably don't think that should be a sharp corner. I'm gonna add in my fillet there. So simple enough, just an extra tab. You type in whatever you want the floor fillet to be, and it just adds that in to any bottom edge of the fillet. And it looks at your levels as well. So just realizes that up from that bottom pocket, bottom pocket depth, it just needs to add that fillet. So it's it's really just a way to kind of just tweak the code and then just add that fillet for you. Any questions of this or anything else from SolidCAM, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.